can't slow down, no, no, can you feel it too, there ain't no stopping now, feet off the ground, head to the sky, yeah, wind by my side, you and my vision, directly we collide, good morning, welcome back to King of the Hill, okay, today's side versus snow, both of them are reigning champions, uh, Snow had to take a break because he had a vacation, right? Sai's currently really high up on the ladder. Snow's G2, but don't underestimate Snow. Korea versus Korea. Well, LA Korea versus Seoul Korea. Wow, the BM from Sai trying to get into Snow's head by banning out that thing. What is that even? That is, I don't even know what is that. Sai's in a cafe right now, so the background is such. Snow, Snow has to beat him to... I, I'm rooting for Snow for this one. I mean, what do you mean, man? Snow's banning on Ganymede here. Leaving Artemil open for Psy. Everyone who's ever faced Psy always bans Artemil. So I think we're going to actually see an Artemil pick right here. First pick, Hathor by Psy. I'm going to get some lessons here on how to use Hathor. What's Snow going for? Without Ganymede. Do, are we going to see the Snow Diana? Possibly one of the best Dianas in the world and then he goes for Triana Ciara and Psy doesn't give Diana to Snow going with Diana and Artemil both these units kind of complement each other because well uh, Artemil gets attacked by whenever anyone gets crit right Diana gets attacked by whenever you attack anyone else so that's quite a bit of attack bar there and then attack bar reduction by Hathor Snow going with the Oki Amelia and then Sai goes double immunity for last picks. I mean there's already a Pseudo strip sort of like a strip from Oki, so we start worried You know, there's at least one way to deal with immunity there with Oki But what is this last pick gonna be you can't go Iris because Iris is just gonna let Diana and Artemil pop off he goes for the Siren pick, but if he goes for the Siren and Sai decides, hey, I'm gonna ban out Oki, how are you gonna deal with immunity? You have no way to land Oblivion if Sai decides to go ahead and ban out Oki. As you can see, Snow is just he, he wasn't very satisfied with the with the uh, with the draft phase, but he's waiting now. See what a size ban gonna be and side doesn't ban out Oki. I think that's actually pretty good for for snow Although although he loses immunity at least he has a chance Right to reset and oblivion. Okay, who's at the bottom snow's at the bottom the face cams are right Who's that turn one as always? I think snow was expecting to go turn one right there. You can see it's a swift Oki very very fast he was expecting turn 1, but he didn't get it. Never mind. He did get the reset on Hathor, so no sleep. I think he re ruined Oki to Swift, or his Oki wasn't Swift all this time. It was really fast, really, really close to Usa's speed, even with the speed leader. However, unfortunately, Usa still goes first. He still gets the reset, but now he can't Oblivion Artemil. He can't work on Diana. He has to work on uh, uh, Hathor because that's the only person without immunity right now. Diana gets the stun, went into fire. Artemil gets the stun, but Ciara with the violent out of stun. There's the snow procs. He re I think he really needs this today. I'm rooting for him. I totally am rooting for him because it's, I mean, it's not size high up the ladder, right? So I like to root for the person that's not as high up the ladder. Anyway, uh, continuing on to the game. Um, just some standard poke damage here uh, with a bomb on to uh, Hathor with no Vela Jewel here. She can't cleanse that. And um, the moment she can actually cast anything, I think she got reset by Oki. Yeah? The moment she can actually cast anything, she will be stunned up by, by the bomb. However, Artemil is like having a 100% stun rate so far? Something like that? Okay, additional turn by Sierra. She can put another bomb. That can be a dead Hathor right away if she cho if he so chooses to. Nope, goes for the attack. Oh my lord, this damage from Artemil though. 5,000 without defense break. That damage from Artemil and Oki and the Siren both stunned up. Do you cleanse Oki here? Nope, doesn't want to use the heal. But right now, this Diana going for the shield though. That, that could very well protect Hathor from death. 
Will it be enough though? Do you continue working with Hathor or do you do you not attack Hathor and, 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 and don't give Diana attack but he goes on to Hathor? Yikes! I mean Hathor does die, good damage, but it seemed to have surprised Sidon that Hathor died. That's a lot of damage from the Sierra. But the Sierra is almost dead. Here comes the, the Triana's passive being proc. Is he gonna go for the cleanse? Doesn't go for the cleanse. So that is a dead Sierra. Right, this, this unicorn hasn't even swapped the human form yet, but there we go. The additional turn, back to human form. Now it's up to Tassaren. I believe Tassaren might be able to move before... I mean, there's no immunity gonna happen here from Wusa, right? No immunity. So there's one chance Tassaren has to defense break Diana here. And there is an opening for Oki to do AoE stun. Right, no, he goes for the defense break onto Artemil. Doesn't get the Oblivion. Very unfortunate, but he has a second chance. Additional turn. Can he get the Oblivion? Doesn't get it for the second time in a row. Now tell me you at least stun him. Come on. Gets the stun onto Artemil and Diana, but does not stun Wusa and Diana to rub it in. Violence out of stun. And next turn, there's Wish of Immortality. You can tell Snow is... Pretty disappointed in this. Where is the music? I'm sorry, I forgot about the music. I'm sorry, there's some audio issues just now. As you can tell, my mic was muted. Anyway, back to the game. It's not looking good for a side. I mean, for it's not looking good for Snow. He needs to be able to get Oblivion and Defense Pick onto this Artemil. Once Artemil's on our picture, this double fire threat can actually work. Alright, healing up, getting immunity, but that's gonna be Wish of Immortality right now. He, no, he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it. He's gonna give to Siren one chance. Or, or did he get reset? I missed it because I was doing the audio thing. Oh, he reset. Thank you very much for the reminder. So, this is actually looking pretty good for Snow. My bad, I missed the reset. I was uh, tinkering with the audio uh, settings. So, no Wish of Immortality. And this Artemil is one hit from death, but he has a heal though. He has a heal. But at this point of time in the game, if the siren so much as defense breaks into a violent proc, into, you know, it, it could be a dead Artemil right there, right? Diana working onto Triana right here, goes back to Unicorn form. But does she get stunned? Doesn't get the stun. It's all up to the siren. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get the defense break? Goes for the triple crush, gets the defense break, but doesn't get the violent proc. Oki, can you do enough damage? Does he have Rain of Stones? He does not. He doesn't have Rain of Stones. Who's stuck on top of Artemil here? Can you proc a sleep, Di uh, Triana? He's praying for it. He's praying for it. Can he get the sleep? Doesn't get the sleep, but he does get the attack by reduction, though. That's not so bad. A shield from Diana, choosing defensive options over offensive options. There is a double stun, the triple stun from Oki. And that's going to be a dead Artemil because the Siren's going to hit like a truck. It's looking very good for Snow. He's going to be able to do it. He resets Wusa right here. It looks to be in the bag. So now, Versailles, you're thinking, who do you ban out next match? Because this is not looking too good. <coughs> it's all up to Diana now. Can Diana pop off? Can Diana go crazy? No, he concedes. First game goes to snow well played game number two we're in the pre-bans who do you ban out of your side right now do you take out oki do you take out artemil there's the artemil ban and sai actually bans out diana anyway snow with the first pick let me just switch this around oh no really are you serious nah he's going for gany come on that was just a mind games right there it has to be gany it's because it, it, if last last if last match pre bans wasn't Gany, it would have. Oh my God! Here we are. We are just flexing right now. We're just flexing right now. Trinity and Zeratu. Wow. I didn't even knew he had that. I didn't even know he had that. Anyway, half four. Wusa picked up by Sai. Going back. It's gonna be Meta. I know, right? No one knew he had a Zeratu. I didn't know as well. What's well, gonna be the second wave of picks for Snow right here? Gany, and then he doesn't have Diana anymore. He what what else does Snow have? I think he still has that Oki up there. Yep, going for the Triana Oki. And Sai goes with immunity from Amelia. Again, 
favoring double immunity like he did the last game. But where is the damage? Where is the damage for Sai? What are the last two pays gonna be? Are we gonna see a Perna? Are we gonna see a Ciara in there? Because right now this lineup is just lacking damage and without Gany to cycle those turns. There's the Mo Long, the defense break, and a 70% HP nuke. There's one source of damage, but I kind of feel that you still need one more damage dealer in a draft. Snow responds with Ciara and Chilling to deal with the immunity of Sai. So with the Chilling pick, it, it leads me to believe that it's probably going to let Amelia and Wusa through. And probably gonna ban one of the one of the uh, the three damage dealers. I mean, Hathor or Mo Long probably gonna be banned out right here. <coughs> Maybe even an Ethna ban, but definitely with the chilling and Oki in there, you're gonna let those double immunity through. Sai going with Vanessa, opting for probably the speed leader from Vanessa. And I don't know, you don't know his rune build. It could be a uh, damage Vanessa. Really, I I and you never know with Sai, right? For all you know, this Vanessa could just do like 20,000 uh, with a crit or something. Um, look, looking like Snow is actually not letting double immunity through? I mean, you go chilling in Oki though. Yeah, so the double immunity gets let through by Snow, yeah? And he bans out Mo Long, and Sai bans out chilling, so it's again up to this Oki to get a reset right off the bat. However, we saw just now in the last game that even with the speed leader, Wusa outspeeds. But now he has 33% speed leader, so definitely Wusa is gonna outspeed. But if Oki's able to get a strip into a seal magic, one of the pass, you know, uh, Vanessa's passive could be reset, or even um, Hathor could be reset. Let's see. So Wusa with the Im immunity on turn one, but wait! Hathor actually moves because of the 33% speed leader! Hathor moves before Oki on Swift. Wow. Okay, that's a very fast. That's a that's a very fast Hathor. Thanks. I did not think that would be okay. Gany being Gany. Oh, you can see you can see the cringe on Sai's face though. Okay. Gany gets the strip into Violet into Seal Magic. Oh boy. Does he get a resistance? He gets the bomb. <coughs> this Hathor has been taking every single bomb from Snow Sierra today. Bomb goes off through the shield, deals half of Hathor's health right there. But Mountain's power is there to uh, to heal up. However, with Hathor down, uh, really there's no control on the side. Uh, uh, with the seal magic, there's no control on the side of Psy. It's all up to Vanessa to do chip damage. There is decent damage though. If you can get a defense break, you can see Wusa do some damage. Oki's reset gets resisted though by Amelia. So there's gonna be uh, there's still gonna be immunity, and then it's gonna be pretty hard. It's gonna be pretty hard for Ciara to drop a bomb. However, however, unless Wusa sleeps Ciara right here, or Wusa sleeps anything right here, this Ciara is gonna be able to put a second round of bombs into a detonate. Onto Hathor, and that would be a dead Hathor, uh, revived by Vanessa. It seems to be, the, the plan seems to be working for Snow. Does he go for Amelia instead? Indeed he does. He goes for Amelia, and this is gonna pop Amelia. If he, cho if he chooses to detonate, because Amelia is in human form right now. Oh, almost, but not quite, just a bit more. Just a bit more. Weakened attack being put onto Ciara right here, but this Amelia is gone. One hit and he dies, and he has to use the uh, Vanessa passive to come back. There's the Vanessa passive being propped. This actually is looking great for Snow again. Yeah, because like the only damage source really is Vanessa, and with Hathor getting seal magic right in the beginning. There is no control to go with this team. Does he have a sleep now? The, with that violent prop, I think he does. I think he has at least a single target sleep. Goes on to the Ciara. Gets it. However, I think Triana is going to be able to cleanse the next turn. But now with the immunity up from Wusa, uh, Ciara's not going to be able to do that much damage. 
and Oki just exhausted his reset, I believe. Anyway, just going for the raw damage, trying to break through the shields with that AoE, as well as get attack bar. I mean, no, he doesn't get attack bar, he doesn't stun anybody, right? I'm sorry. Anyway, Yanni right here, uh, trying to go for the strip into Violent, doesn't get it. I think we're gonna see the Hearth of Sleep come in right now, and you can see the damage being put out by, by Snow earlier in the game, slowly but surely being healed up here by Wusa's uh, Mountain's Power. Next turn, Hathor is going to have that AoE sleep. Do you do immunity right now to protect them from sleeping? Or do you continue trying to do chip damage onto this Hathor? Because all it takes is a strip from Gany into a Ciara bomb. Even though Ciara has weakened attack, you're going to be able... Oh, he doesn't do it anyway. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He was hoping for a Violent there perhaps, but didn't get it. There is the delayed promise. So two turns sleep onto everybody. This is looking pretty bad for Snow right now. Who do you go on here? Do you go on to Triana? No, goes on to Gany. Okay. But Triana's passive is going to be able to save Gany from death though. And he's going to, with everybody asleep, this he can just keep cycling and 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 with Mountain's power, just slowly but surely heal up his team from all the prior damage dished out by Snow. Ooh, is he going for this? Is he going for who? I think he was going for the Ciara kill into proc into Gany. But right here, that's a dead Ciara. And a violent proc by Hathor. This one looks to be in the bag for Sai. It looked really good for Snow in the beginning with the, uh, the Gany strip into seal magic. But with this, with, the, with, with Hathor being so fast though. Uh, it was it's still pretty hard. So this the next oh wow oh yeah he ventilated into into Triana so there's another Triana passive being proc right here. However, I just don't see this happening for for Snow right here unless he has one opening where he can do a rain of stones and stun three targets. But right now there's still two of them with immunity. Goes for the reset onto Hathor. Okay, at this point of time still not doing enough damage uh, to count for anything. I feel. The next time Vanessa goes, something's gonna die. It's probably gonna be that Gany. Oh, this Vanessa two turn every turn. There's the Gany death into a uh, seal of fire, and that's it. Game two goes the way of Psy. Pre ban phase. What's it gonna be? Do you let Artemil through? Nope. Artemil still being banned out. I think that's gonna be the ban for the rest of the series. And uh, Psy not letting Snow get a chance with Diana. Still first pick Snow. All RNG, by the way. Ganon made being picked up again. Sai again going with Hathor, but this time it's in the Wusa. Picks up the Molong. Now, if you're a Snow, do you go for the Wusa pick here? Ganon made Wusa is a very strong combination. Or do you stick with Oki and Ciara? Or perhaps take the 33 speed leader away with uh, Vanessa. But somehow I feel it's gonna be Triana. <laughs> he seems to like Triana a lot. Nope, he goes for Ciara and Amelia and Gany. <coughs> so he's giving away Usa again to Sai, and this time Sai takes away Oki. So previously, all Snow was doing against Immunity was using Oki's reset, Spear of Devastation, and now with that taken away by Sai, what are his remaining options? Chilling to deal with immunity and Garo. Interesting. But why? How is Garo strong in this situation? I guess when it comes to endgame, Garo is pretty decent against. Well, Usa? I mean, that's all I can think of. I mean, Oki does do multi hits. So does Molong. I mean, we shall say. I don't know. If I knew any better. I'd be playing, right? So, Vanessa, speed leader being picked up by Sai as the last pick. Uh, looks to be a, a, a similar lineup as before. We're probably going to end up seeing Molong being banned out here. Or, unless he has a different different plan for that. Maybe he might ban out the speed leader. I'm not sure. Amelia being banned out by Sai here. So, no immunity for Snow. And Molong is banned out by Snow. 
So there's no reckless assault. We're looking at a crazy control lineup on the side of Sai. However, there is no Ganyme to help them refresh their skills. So we're gonna see who's that turn one witch of immortality. The problem here is unless Snow can move or resist this reset, straight away stunned up, chilling gets stunned up. However, Gany does resist the sleep. Does he get the strip into violent? Does not. Does not. So three turns immunity without a strip from chilling on turn one getting stunned up. This Ciara is unable to put any bombs. <coughs> so you're gonna see a reset right here. Goes on to Gany with the reset. Okay. And then we're gonna see a delayed promise. Two turns sleep. Gany does resist it, however. However, Gany can't do anything because he got he got reset by Oki. All he can do now is this default attack and strip some immunity, I think. Or are you gonna try ventilate? No way, right? There's nothing to ventilate. Right now, uh Chilling really needs to proc a violent or Ciara needs to violent out the sleep cycle. Because the moment they're out of sleep, Oki has another round of stunts. So in, in order for to, to, to break that cycle, one of them needs to proc violence. Oh, additional turn by Gany. But I think he still needs one more turn. Gany needs one more turn for seal magic. Before he dies. This OKF Oki going for the stun, okay? So this is Snow's opportunity right here. Can Ciara violent our stun? But even if she does. Chilling first needs to steal immunity. Now, if Ciara even violence, there's no use because, well, uh, he, she just got reset. So what do you do now? You steal some buffs. Gany needs to violent or seal magic something. Because Gany has seal magic right now. Next turn, Gany has seal magic. There is no AoE sleep from Hathor right now. Goes for the sweet dreams. On to Ciara. Get resisted. However, Ciara doesn't evolve. I think the seal of fire right here is going to kill Gany. If not, additional turn. Yikes! Yikes! That's even worse! Garu finally gonna be able to move one time. Gets the stun on to Hathor. Sierra has bomb next turn. If you're chilling, do you continue stealing immunity right here? Perhaps slowing. Nope. Buff speed for his team. Okay. Sierra has bomb this turn. Oh, can you survive, Garo? Can you survive? Size hoping for a violent Brock. <coughs> doesn't get it. Sierra has one bomb. Oh wait, she she doesn't? Maybe I was wrong. You need one more turn for the bomb? Oh, Ga oh um, Garo does kill Hathor. But Hathor gets revived by Vanessa. Still though, do you try to kill Hathor with chilling? He tries for it just a bit more, not quite enough. But Sierra gets a turn. Gonna be able to put a bomb here on any target he so chooses to. Goes for the bomb onto Oki. Does he have detonate? He doesn't have detonate, which means Oki has a 50-50 chance to return the bomb. Does no, he goes for the stun. He's gonna take the bomb. He's gonna take the bomb damage. And I believe that stun didn't proc Garo's passive. If it didn't, then Garo is gonna be able to. That's a dead Oki. Even through the shield, that's a dead Oki. Okay. Garo is actually gonna solo this. Unless... No, Garo's gonna solo this, right? Yo, I think so. Speed buff for Garo. Speed buff for Garo. So if Wusa kills him here, he's gonna proc 50% attack right No, Goes for the heal. Goes for the heal. Vanessa, he really wants Vanessa proc violent here. Oh, no! 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 Chilling, can you do it? Oh, I'm so sorry. I jinxed it. I totally jinxed it. No. Well, I mean, chilling, though. Oh, no. Chilling's not vampire. He's not going to be able to do it. That guy would have done it, though. That violent proc. Yikes! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! 
I jinxed it! Game 3 goes the way of Psy, but hey, that gyro almost worked if not for that one violent proc near the end. Snow actually putting some thought into this. You can see he's considering letting Artemil through. Oh, he bans the Wusa! Interesting. Perhaps it's because he doesn't have a Wusa. Because I, I don't know Snow box, Snow's box that well. Maybe he doesn't have a Wusa. Because there was a reason why just now he didn't pick Wusa at all. So Artemil is gonna get through this turn. Again, first pick for Snow. He goes with the Gany pick. What's Sai gonna re uh, respond here with? Again, Hathor. Well, basically, you don't want the opponent to go Gany Hathor. I guess that's the reason why. If someone picks Gany, you go Hathor, am I right? And with Wusa banned out, there's no Gany Wusa combination as well. So Hathor and Amelia being picked up by Sai. So uh, Snow. He, is he gonna go immunity or is he just gonna ban out Hathor or just straight up reset Hathor? Anyway, Molong picked up on the second wave of picks by Sai. It's gonna be. Artem is gonna be in there, right? I feel like Sai is gonna go Vela Jewel somewhere in here for double immunity. Because it seems that every time uh, he plays uh, in this series, he always goes double immunity and not just a single one. Right, with the Siren picked up by Snow and Ciara over there, you kind of want to ensure you have immunity or else you're going to take those debuffs. No, he's going for Artemil. So if, let's say, Snow were to ban out immunity, which he does, right? Sai was expecting another ban, so he banned out Oki and he's taking no strip, right? But no, Snow bans out Amelia. And now you're looking at Oblivion and Ciara bombs. If you're Sai, but Sai's gonna get turn one. Can Molong do enough on turn one to turn this in his favor? With 33 speed leader, no doubt. Molong is gonna get turn one. Snow not going for the 24% Ciara leader. Instead, going for the Tassarian resistance leader. Tassarian still gets stunned. Resistance leader does not work. Three people get stunned. Delayed promise. Resistance is a lie. However, the Siren does resist the two turn sleep. A violent proc by Hathor. And procs the sleep onto again, mate. But this isn't all that bad, I think. This isn't all that bad. Because right now, uh, uh, there's still Ganymede Seal Magic. There is still Ventilate into the passive. They're still venting into the passive of Triana. Rectus Assault. Oh my goodness! Gets a violent proc right after that, too. And now with two targets being pretty low and Triana being asleep. Now you got Seal Magic right here. Who do you Seal Magic? Do you Seal Magic to heal from Artemil? Or do you stop the revive? Or do you just stop Hathor from doing anything? Anyway, Seal Magic into Hathor so she doesn't have any more. Uh, Spells to use, even though she's been proccing violence. The siren has one shot, really, to make a difference. The thing is, Artemil could very well. Well, he didn't crit there, fortunately. Fortunately, Artemil did not crit. But even if he did crit, right? Uh, that would proc Triana's passive. This is pretty. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen right now. He's going to go and kill. Right? And pop the passive off Triana. But with Triana still asleep, that's a dead to Siren. And then a two man stun. Water into wind, just stunning. My Molong doesn't ever do this. It's not a matter of accuracy, right? It's a matter of G3. G3 RNG, I feel. No bombs being put by Ciara today. She's just gonna die right here. There's no Triana passive. Game 4 goes the way of Psy. That game was really a lot of procs. I mean, aren't all games though, right? I, I don't think there's a clear outdrafting moment here. It's more like RNG slightly favoring one or the other. Ganymede banned out by Snow. Diana banned out by Psy. I was quite looking forward to seeing uh, Snow's Diana today. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see it. 
Again, we're going to be expecting an Artemil draft coming up from side. And likely going to be a Wusa as well, since Wusa is, well, not banned. But with Gany out of the picture, there's no Gany Hathor going to be picked up. First pick, Sai. What does he do here? Goes for the Hathor again. Hathor really dead good, huh? Maybe I should work on mine. Like, I mean, properly work on mine. Amelia Wusa picked up by Snow. Double immunity right off the bat. And it's not just double immunity, it's immunity with another buff. So it's not gonna be that easy for Molong to get the strip that he wants. Triana picked up by Sai. What Snow's what is Snow gonna pick here? He does have a burner. He does not pay he's not picking burner, goes for Ciara and Oki again. <coughs> With the speed leader, does Oki outspeed? Hathor? And, and is he able to get the reset on Hathor this time around? Icarus being picked up by Sai. Interesting combination. That's what I do sometimes, but my Icarus is nowhere near as fast as my Molong, so it's really hard to speed tune Icarus together with Molong because, well, you need her to be tanky enough to do like 20k, but if you get her so fast, like 240 speed, she's not gonna leech as much health. Anyway, last pick for Snow right now. It's kind of a hairy situation for Snow. Because every, like, every everything on, on Sai's lineup is bannable, you know? You can ban it and say, you, you know, and it, it's not a wrong ban. It's all strong units, but goes for the Molong ban and uh, Sai banning up Oki. So, we're gonna see Garo again. Can Garo do it this time? Why Garo? Some people in chat are asking. Well, because he almost did the last time. Maybe he can. You never know. With the shield rune set in there, there's triple buffs. Is he going to go right away? He goes right away for dark recovery. Okay. Probably going to sleep. Amelia fails to do so. Okay, this is looking pretty decent. However, there is immunity. From Triana. So what do you do here? Do you go for double hits and proc uh, Artemil's attack bar enough? So that so that you can make him lose immunity and let him cut before Ciara and put a bomb on him? Well, no, that Ciara doesn't get to put any bombs. She's going to take more damage. Defense buff not being casted here by Amelia. And that Amelia is going to... I mean, that Ciara is going to take some take, taking some damage. However... Because he didn't use the defense buff, he's able to cleanse Ciara next turn. But, Ciara is going to move because she gained attack bar. So she moved before Amelia, so that's a wasted turn by Ciara right here. Immunity is now running out for, for Sai, right? So he's going to cleanse that, and Ciara is going to get a full damage bomb out right here. Do you go for Triana right away? Tries to go for the stun, doesn't get it. Artemis is going to continue working. No, Artemis goes for the heal. Try and sleep something. Gets the two turn sleep onto Artemis. That was pretty big. That was pretty big. But because of the two turn sleep, that means you can't detonate this bomb right now. You can't even land the bomb. No, not like this. Oh, but he gets additional turn, which means next turn he has the bomb. But that was unfortunate. And he's unable to cleanse the sleep because he already used it. He goes back to unicorn form. Does he proc a violent? If he procs a violent, he can go back to human form and cleanse that sleep. Gets the violent, goes back to human form, cleanses the sleep. Even then, you lay down a bomb onto Triana. She's got immunity the next turn. That's not... You need to detonate the bomb. You need to stun with Garo. And then put a bomb on Triana. That way she can't cast immunity, right? But does Icarus have it? Does Icarus... Icarus is going to have Dark Recovery next turn, though. She's going to have Dark Recovery next turn. Ciara does resist the sleep, so she has one more chance to put a bomb and take out this Triana. Can she do it? Do you do a heal or do you do immunity? Goes for the default attack. Triana's turn. Does she have immunity? She has immunity. Very unfortunate. So no bomb. 
from Ciara and gonna take one hit from Artemil as well. Oh dear. That's a dead Ciara. That's a dead Ciara. That resistance though. Right in the beginning when Ciara tried to put the first bomb. That was painful. But never say no, there is Garo. As the game goes further, Garo is gonna be able to do enough damage. Look at that, 11,000! 11,000 without defense, but without attack buff. This Garo is gonna be able to dish out some heavy damage. And Icarus is not gonna be able to one-shot Garo. What needs to happen right now is that Snow actually needs to proc sleeps from Musa. And he needs to proc freezes from Miss Amelia. Does he get to sleep? Doesn't get to sleep. There is gonna be dark recovery from Icarus right now. And that's gonna be a dead. Not quite. Not quite. Sweet dreams. Breaking immunity. Not quite. One last defense buff before you drop dead. Okay. Garo's gonna be able to finish off Triana right here. Can you get one more freeze before you die? Doesn't get it. Doesn't get to proc. Not even resistance. Anyway, Garo's gonna be able to kill right here Triana if he so chooses to do so. Or are you going for a stun? Nope, goes for the kill onto Triana. And then he needs to work through Hathor's HP bar. Yikes, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Proc asleep, Musa. We wanna see a game five, a game six. Proc asleep. Oh, he goes for the heal instead. Probably gonna be Dark Twister right here. Oh dear. Oh, wait, 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 resistance! Resistance from Amelia, but Amelia needs to go back to Unicorn form, proc a violent, back to human form, and then cleanse Garo for the kill. Can he do it? Can you get a freeze here? Doesn't get the additional turn. Can Wusa get a sleep onto Artemil? Doesn't proc the sleep. Just not happening. With that, Amelia is gonna drop dead to Icarus right here. No, still surviving, but half is gonna finish the job. And Prox an additional turn for Sweet Dreams on to Wusa. Now Garo is vampire, so you're not gonna see Garo Violet Alsip, the final wish of immortality here. Can you proc a sleep? One sleep. Get the sleep onto Artemil. This is not over. Garo is going to be able to dragon attack, doesn't get the stun unfortunately, onto Hathor. Do you proc another sleep on Icarus? It would be crazy! Does it- oh he procs it but got resisted though! Dark recovery. Ooh, who's surviving by the skin of his teeth but Hathor with the sleep right there. Dead Hathor, Garo against Icarus and Artemil. Can Garo do this? Get the stun. Get the no resistance. <coughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Narrow escape being proc right here. Does he leech enough? Oh, narrow escape again. He has the stun. Resist it again. It's gonna be so close. No, he gets the stun. Never mind, he gets a stun, but Icarus is going to be able to finish him off, even with the default attack. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Garo lives! Garo lives! Garo lives! Garo lives! Wow! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Poggers! Game 6, let's go! People in the chat were asking, why Garo? That's why Garo! Notice that every game that Snow has won, Artemil was in there. Sai with the B amp again! Okay? Sai with the... Sai with the Dark... The Dark Helene ban. Snow with the Ganymede ban. Usa Diana. Finally, we get to see the Snow Diana. Is it gonna be able to do enough to bring this to a game seven i think he has a friend there and he's explaining explaining the uh, pick and bands or something anyway molong picked up by sai as well as amelia what does snow respond with here is it gonna be that okie 
Is it gonna be the Ciara? Okay. Nope, goes for Triana. And Ciara. Okay. There is still immunity pick for Sai if he so chooses to do so, right? He can go Velajewel if he wants to. But I believe we're gonna see Artemil there, right? Goes for the Sai Perna! Okay! Perna does do a lot of damage to all these win targets though. And Sai's Perna, by the way, 200 crit damage on Violent. Very, very painful. What's Snow gonna do with this last pick? Is it gonna be enough to make a difference? Time is running out. We've got five seconds. He's still thinking about it. He's not even looking for the units yet. He's thinking about it. Now he's looking for it. Does he have enough time? Goes for the Tassaran pick. Okay. Unfortunately, it looks like we're not gonna be able to see the Diana. Unless Sai lets it through. But the wise thing here will be take out the Tassaran because, well, you don't want Tassaran to Oblivion Artemil. You don't want Tassaran to Oblivion Perna, right? Snow bans out Hathor. And with Tassarian banned out, he's got to deal with the two strongest passives in the game. Well, that may be overstating it, but you gotta kill Perna twice. And you gotta take the Artemil Revengers with Amelia defense buff. That is a lot of damage. Amelia Artemil, that's just a lot of damage. Usa gets turned one. Molo, can you strip? Doesn't strip any immunity though. This is good for snow. But what do you do here? Do you get protection or do you do some damage? Goes for the default attack, not even doing the, the shield. I'm curious though. Oh, maybe he tried to... Then I'm not sure what, what was going on there. Felt like that was the only chance to do some damage and perhaps stop uh, Amelia from doing any any uh, any any immunity and defense buff. But now with defense buff, this Artem is just going to do a lot of damage. Look at that, and he gets a stun too. And then Flame Nova with no defense break, nineteen thousand. Well, Amelia does have a clans, right? Does she? I mean, that's gonna be a reckless assault right away, I think. Do you detonate? Because, well, Amelia doesn't have a cleanse. You can hold off on it. Yikes, this Artemil just tripping and stunning every turn. Reckless assault into Ciara, dropping her to like 5%. Goes to human form of Amelia. Does he get a violent? He doesn't get a violent, okay? So no no way to go back to human and cleanse the bomb off. Ciara does not proc a violent, but this Ciara is so close to death right now. Doesn't get the sleep. He's so needed that. There is the kill on to Ciara, proccing Triana's passive. Now, do, does she have heal? Tries to go for the sleep. Gets a stun in return. I think this one is in the back for Sai. Unless this Diana. You never know, right? Can Diana pop off and go crazy? It's all up to Diana. Can Diana do it? This is one of the best Dianas in the world. Can you proc? Oh shit. Even if you do, you just get crit down by this Artemil. You need to stun it! You need to stun this Artemis! And get an additional turn! Stuns the Perna, but even then, additional turn by Molong into, uh, into, into Dragon Dance, into, I think, game over. Because there's no way that this Unicorn there's no way that this Diana makes it to the next turn. So that was the only chance, really, for Snow. Anyway, GG. Congratulations to Sai. Taking the series 4-2. to two, But I think we can agree. Right? I think we can agree that it was a pretty good game. 
Yeah, that Garo comeback though. I was pretty hyped for that. <laughs> I was so rooting for Garo all series. Oh boy. Anyway guys, so that's it for today's King of the Hill. Um, we'll be back shortly with some random Fortnite duels with uh, random fills. Yeah, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, thank you once again for all the, the support for this tournament. Uh, watching and uh, subbing and following. And again, GG to both of the players. Uh, shout out to Snow for putting up a great fight. Even though clearly uh, the rank disparity was there. He did make it pretty close. It was pretty close, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.